Mark, a one or draw today. What's your thoughts on the performance? It's a roller coaster of an afternoon. Uh, Derby day was always going to be that. Uh, it, disappointed, disappointed because we got ourselves ahead and we were down to ten men. And the characteristics, the fight, and the endeavour that, that that group's showing at the moment um, is, is fantastic. And um, you know, first half I thought we were a bit lukewarm. I th you know, we, we weren't happy. I don't think we quite executed um, our game plan. Um, well enough, I thought we were a little bit sort of waiting, um, waiting for something to happen in the game to almost kick us on. Uh, maybe the sending off did that, but I thought we started the second half a lot better, asked a lot more questions, caused a lot more problems, and um, we got our goal. Um, we had to play you know, a very large spell with that second half. We are down to 10 men, but like I said, I'm, I'm so pleased with the character that they're showing. Obviously, four changes made from the side that beat Kingstonian and returning Giles Phillips played 90 minutes today. Yeah, fantastic for him. You know, He's been out uh, quite a while now, and um, we've been trying to build him up in training. But again, he looks after himself. He's a really fit lad and um, he's done really well to get that 90 minutes. It was Ben Schroll stepped in and done it last week. Giles Phillips has done that and come through, you know, unscathed, touch wood. Uh, so, you know, we're starting to get some players back um, in, a, in a very precarious time at the moment with what's going on in the world at the moment. You, you don't know who's going to be available and who's not. So it's important that we can get people up to speed as quick as we can because we need each, each and every one of them. Obviously, you know, uneventful first half for us, but the second half, we really did seem to be the, the team, the ascendancy as well. What was the message at half time? Um, we had to tighten up on a few things, just, um, you know, execute our game plan a little bit. I felt we needed to be more on the front foot, um, get our distances right. Um, just a few a few small tweaks and things, And uh, but the players took it on and they, they, they took the, uh, and especially going down to 10 men, like I said, the, the whole thing changes then. We had to, ch you know, a little change in shape um, and the way the boys took that on, um, you know, to do something new, something different, you know, when you're down to 10 men and we always try and practice different scenarios, but until you actually get out there, I thought the boys handled it really well and we were so, so close, agonisingly close, uh, but it was important we never lost the game uh, and we didn't, um, but yeah, we, look, we, were, we were cheered on shooting into that end uh, in the second half, I think that sort of picked us up and gave us a lift that we needed. That's the point, obviously, on the red card. Obviously, disappointing for Alfie, but I'm sure you'll learn from that. But from the boys that did continue out there, they did a great job out there. Yeah, they were, they were, they were fantastic to a man. And um, I said they couldn't have given any more. And um, that, that's, it's an honest group, and they're giving everything they can for the shirt, and that's all you can ask for. Obviously, we took the lead through Corey with a great penalty. Then a lot of pressure built up, but then, you know, like you say, agonisingly with Kratchmar finding at the end. Despite the result, it does mean we go seven unbeaten, six in the league. That's a positive from today. Yeah, absolutely. Loads of positives that we can take from today. And uh, another great learning curve for us, you know, to play with 10 men and, and show the desire that we did. So, yeah, we can, we can keep that going. We're, we're obviously disappointed, agonisingly, you know, you know, to be, you know, we really wanted that three points. And you could see um, and that. But look, we, we, we've got a point. We'll dust ourselves down and we, we, we can't. We've got to learn quickly and not dwell on anything for too long because uh, we've got another big game coming up in 48 hours. That's exactly that, a way trip to Dagenham, tough place to go, but you know a lot of confidence going into it. Yeah, well, look, we should be confident. You know, We're putting a, a little run together and we've got to just keep doing that and it, it don't get any easier, it gets tougher. Um, to keep putting back-to-back -back games or wins or, or points on the board, so you know the job never changes. We'll keep keep working hard, try and get try and get better, and uh, we'll look after the boys probably you know tomorrow in at training, um, and then we'll, we'll put our best foot forward for for Dagenham. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.